Hey you guys, it's your girl Hannah B and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be a video that I've kind of been asked about um, or I've been asked questions about and I want to pretty much give you guys the scoop on. If you can't tell, it is about Hooters and my experience being a Hooters girl. No, my name is not Talia. I promise you I had name, ta name tags that said my name. But like that's the first rule is that um as long as you got a name tag on you good because it's just part of the uniform so find you a name tag and put it on so you don't be out of uniform hooters for me was definitely an experience i started working here at the hooters in jackson which is actually closed now. and i literally worked there for two weeks before moving to atlanta and so like i just kind of like learned a computer learned a floor i've never been a server before outside of working in the club which is a whole a lot different than serving in a restaurant first and foremost at hooters we are not hired as waitresses we are entertainers for our tables you know like we just don't happen to take your order but we're really supposed to like you know tell jokes and kiki and all that good stuff with our tables i mean that really just kind of depends on the personality of the girl all in all it was kind of a fun experience for me i really did enjoy working at hooters i enjoyed my co-workers i love all of my girls i still talk to so many of them i did work on the floor and i did work behind the bar for a brief period of time so i kind of have that experience of being able to do those i'm gonna start with the hiring process of how it usually goes for people who work at hooters so the first time I worked at Hooters, I submitted my application. It was pulled. I got called in for an interview. You are supposed to go through three sets of interviews and I've been through this process three times. So the first interview is with one of the managers. Either you usually, I think that you should go, and this was the advice that I got watching girls on like the tube and other girls. Um, you kind of want to go a little dolled up, with a little bit of makeup on and a cute outfit, something that they can really see your body for because this is a super tight, uniform okay so they kind of need to be able to imagine you in a uniform you go in for your first interview if you pass you'll get invited back to a second interview with the general manager um that's just so the general manager can get a feel for who you are again she kind of go pretty cute on your third interview um it's really a fitting so they're gonna put you in a uniform make sure you bring five dollars to put into the vending machine in the bathroom to get your type the first time i did it they gave me the money and the second time i did it um, I pay for my own tights, but it's a vending machine. It does not take nothing but fives, okay? Nobody told me that. So you do all of those things. You try your uniform on, they're gonna take a picture and they're gonna send it to the corporate office, which is actually um, um, Gwinnett. Um, they're gonna, is it Gwinnett? No, it's not Gwinnett. That's not the, cor is that the corporate one? That's not the corporate one. It's Mall of Georgia, I think, but they're gonna take your picture and send it to corporate and corporate is gonna either approve you or not based on how you look in the uniform. And so every time I've been through this process, I have passed the uniform test except for one time, okay? I looked a hot mess one of the times that I did do the uniform test, but um, it really wasn't anything. I pretty much have gotten hired on the spot every other time. After the initial part of me working for Hooters, um, the other two times that I technically got hired, were they were on the spot because the general managers knew that i had hooters experience already so they were just kind of like oh, okay you've already done this like come on and that was hooters and conyers and hooters in roswell georgia after you pass your after you do all of that they basically basically you know signed you up do your onboarding process you go through training training is three days it's not paid um it it is paid but you don't get tips there you go so you go through your training it's super simple and then you immediately get on the floor and most of the time people can tell that you're new so it's not like you know that bad hooders is a pretty fun environment there are a lot of slow days but you usually like have things to do outside of like talk to the other girls you know you're always taking pictures for hooters tv and doing promo and advertisement there's like fun things to do like bubbles and hula hoops and we played games um where we like we've had like a makeshift basketball game we had a receipt paper fashion show one time <laughs> like we do lots of things you can either be hired as a hooters girl a to-go girl a hostess or a bartender or you can like be part of like the kitchen staffs so, like a dishwasher for those stores who have dishwashers literally you just have to look good in the uniform 
as far as how to do the whole makeup thing hooters makeup requirements are really not that extreme we only had like three or four required things we had to do now i think there's like five things you have to do but you don't have to have a full face for real and anybody that works at hooters knows that there are plenty of times you're gonna go to work in full face and there are plenty of times that you're not now i'm gonna get into um some of the things that i've been asked about working at hooters like one are you really like naked in your uniform we have on more clothes than the twin peaks girls do and i can say that one because i know what they look like and i know people that work for twin peaks and two because i've been a twin peaks girl as well and i felt completely naked so we can't show our midriff and we can't show our butt we have to have on tights we have to have on a certain type of sock and shoe and um now hooters has uh well there used to be like a pregnancy uniform which is like a modified hooters shirt but you still have to wear the shorts but now hooters is trying to become more family friendly so now these black tops which are our friday tops this is actually your friday top in the bartender outfit they have like made long sleeve versions they have made long sleeve versions of the traditional white top i don't think the military top that you wear on tuesdays has a different version, but I don't know because I haven't worked at Hooters in like two years. There are some things to be considered when putting on uniforms. If you wear a small normally, get an extra small. Um, I think the sizes go from 2XS to medium. There are no larges, so sorry, but the material is kind of stretchy. Here's the thing with the uniforms. This is an extra small top. The thing that they don't tell you is that the material like for the tops is like a compression top. So um, it kind of holds you in, especially when you tuck your shirt into your tights and your shorts. Tuck them all, always tuck your shirt into your tights and then put your shorts on top. Um, because they do roll up like a real compression top, but they really do like kind of hold you together. They're super hard to put on, but once you get them on, like you're good. But the shorts are the same way, but there's a little bit more leeway and give with the shorts. It's a completely different material. They stretch and they don't like contract you in places you do get all of the uniforms free at first um after like doing the fitting part of that is to like to see what size you actually would wear so speaking of things being safe um hooters girls are not allowed to leave or come into work with their uniform like visible and showing you have to have something on top of it or you have to come and change kind of like the apple store you know to wear your apple store outside of apple because for safety reasons um so like apparently like in the early 2000s there was a girl who like left work and somebody stalked her all the way to her house and killed her and that's why that is the same that is why it's the way it is it's a it's completely for safety and um like nobody really has a problem with that to be honest that's one thing to remember and also like you are definitely going to run into people who do not know how to act like if you can't you're in a store you're a hooters girl you're in this revealing uniform and you're gonna run into men and women <laughs> who think that it's okay to like talk to you a certain way or approach you a certain way or ask you certain questions and it's completely not okay um our gm told us if you run into a problem like that let her know like text her get her to take her like go to the office all this type of stuff tell whoever the manager is there and that person has to be removed from the store per her her how she ran the store it was just like mandatory if you're disrespecting the girls then you gotta go because without us and us feeling comfortable on the floor the store literally cannot run if there are no servers you have no hooters girls you have no hooters also i want to cover what it's like working with the all girl staff so um it can be very catty there was lots of drama there was almost fights literally if you just mind your business and stay out of the way and do your job you'll be absolutely fine you know i did become friends with like a handful of girls and we would hang out outside of work but for the most part i even got like an award for like being like one of the best servers in the store and it was literally because i had no drama in the store <laughs> So I am going to do some quick comparisons between working at Hooters and working at Twin Peaks. I worked at Twin Peaks for two days and I hated it. First of all, the hiring process is very similar. I don't know how many interviews you're typically supposed to go through, but I went through two of them. I filled out an application and I literally was hired on the spot. I tried on my uniform. I didn't even like do a training. 
I was, was made a hostess because my agreement was you work the desk and then if you recruit a girl, you can work on the floor. And I'm not about that life, period. Um, I still kind of interacted with the same type of customers at Twin Peaks. You are cool until the situation is not cool anymore. So that's the best advice I can give um, anybody that wants to be a Twin Peaks girl or a Hooters girl. The attire is completely different. With the Twin Peaks uniform, you get like the lumberjack unit, you get the lumberjack top and you have to provide everything else. So literally they only give you a top. Um, they do have different tops for different events. So you will get those as the, you know, it's time. So like the football jerseys and the basketball jerseys. And then they also have themed wear days where you know they have like lingerie day and like schoolgirl day and i just think all of that's weird because i don't want coochie next to my wings but you have to wear khaki shorts and you have to wear boots that cover your calf like mid calf um so like uh uggs or bear claws or lamos or something like that but other than that you that's all you get is a shirt and the pouch and everything else you have to like do so if you are a server if you're a person that wants to be a server and you're broke and you're going to a job to try to like be a server to make money, Twin Peaks is like not the place to do it because you have to like already kind of have some money to like even get the uniform together because you can't work without the uniform. But if you don't have any money and want to be a Hooters girl, you can definitely do the entire process broke. The most you'll need is $5. <laughs> and uh, you'll get everything you need on your first day and then you'll be set like forever yeah i think i went through everything i want to talk about if you guys have any questions about working at hooters or working at swim or how to get there what to do how to fill out an application blase blase let me know down below and i can like um give y'all some guidance on like how the process even works especially for hooters do not get on here and ask me anything about hooters jackson because as far as i know it is closed and then not coming back the last thing i read is that they had a failed attempt to try to like move to like ridgeland or pearl or something like that but like the store is like a done deal um i do know that our not our district but our regional manager or our district manager, I think it was our district manager, had a issue with Hooters Jackson. Like he had like a personal vendetta against Hooters Jackson. And um, because he didn't like how the store was being ran. So like that could definitely be a part of why the store closed. I also heard that their sales were not all that, um, which I don't really know. I can't really like testify to that. And the money that I did make at Hooters Jackson was very similar to the money that I made in Atlanta when I was working. So, I don't really know. I mean, like, how people tip versus what people buy, like, they don't even correlate for real. So, um, yeah, don't ask me no questions about Hooter Jackson. I don't have the answers, honey. I don't. Um, but, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any more questions, let me know down below. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Follow me on all social media platforms at Hannah Burnell W. And um, I, that's it for this video. Bye.